Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. It's no secret that there are a lot of cats out there with some extra fluff. But even if your cat isn't a chunk, chances are you've at least seen one. As cute as this extra fluff is, being overweight can lead to several health problems. That's why we're going to share how to prevent cat obesity and explain why it's actually dangerous for Mr. Whiskers to have that extra fluff. Believe it or not, obesity is becoming far more common with cats, and many cat owners don't realize their furry friends have too much fluff. But cats are considered overweight when they weigh 10 to 20% above their ideal body weight, and they're considered obese when they weigh more than 20%. In fact, it is estimated that 59% of cats in the United States are considered either overweight or obese, according to research by the Association for Pet Obesity Prevention. Of this 59%, 28% are overweight, and 31% are considered clinically obese, which is over 30% of the ideal weight for a cat. Needless to say, cat obesity is becoming an epidemic, but why does it matter? What are the dangers of having an overweight cat? Well, like humans, overweight cats are in danger because the extra weight increases the risk for preventable health conditions. Some of the most common obesity-related issues in cats are Urinary tract disease, chronic kidney disease, diabetes, asthma, liver disease, arthritis, high blood pressure, heart failure, gallbladder disorder, and immobility of the spine, just to name a few. <coughs> These common issues were found by Nationwide, which is the nation's largest provider for pet health insurance. Nationwide found these top obesity-related conditions in dogs and cats by sorting through their database of over 630,000 insured pets. Weight issues in cats can lead to many types of cancer, joint damage, chronic pain, and inflammation, but the risks don't stop there. Now, due to the increased risk for so many life-threatening diseases, it's no surprise that overweight cats can have shorter lifespans than others. In fact, overweight cats can live up to 5 to 10 years less than healthy weight cats. Since indoor cats can live for an average of 15 to 17 years, this means that an overweight cat's life can be shortened by as much as one half, depending on the severity of the cat's weight. Now you may be wondering, how much are your cats supposed to weigh? Well, according to PetMD, most cats should weigh about 10 pounds. However, a cat's ideal weight can vary greatly by breed. For example, a Siamese cat may weigh as few as 5 pounds, while a healthy Maine Coon can be 25 pounds. This is why it's important to ask your veterinarian what the ideal weight is for your cat. To determine if your cat is overweight, your vet will use the Body Condition System, or BCS, which is basically the pet version of the Human Body Mass Index, or BMI. There are two versions of the BCS scale, one ranging from 1 to 5, and the other from 1 to 9. The 1 to 9 scale can identify subtle changes in weight, and the 1 to 5 scale has fewer categories. Either way, an overweight pet is referenced by a higher scale number. For example, a cat would be considered too heavy if they were to score above a 3 on the 1 to 5 scale, or above a 5 on the 1 to 9 scale. So now, what do you do when you find out that your cat is a bit too chunky? Well, to prevent obesity, the most important thing you can do is to feed your cat an appropriate diet. Just keep in mind that the best diet for one cat may not be ideal for another because cats have different needs, and those needs also vary throughout the different stages of their lives. This is why it's crucial to ask your veterinarian what the best diet is for your cat. But until you make that appointment, we did find some expert recommendations for you. First, experts say to check the food label to read the ingredient list. A study showed that a shocking 43% of pet owners don't read the food label before buying it, which means many cats might not be eating an ideal diet. Here's a pro tip for reading labels. Look for a nutritional adequacy label from the Association of American Feed Control Officials, which is a nonprofit organization that assesses what's in pet food. That way, if you see the label, you can be confident that it's nutritionally appropriate. Another important tip is to make sure meat is listed as the first ingredient because food labels are listed with the most abundant ingredients first. Remember that cats are carnivores and need more protein than other species. Bruce Kornreich, director of the Cornell Feline Health Center, says, If meat and meat byproducts are among the first ingredients listed, it suggests the food likely has enough animal-sourced ingredients to provide essential amino acids and fatty acids. When checking the label, also look for whole ingredients like fruits, vegetables, rice, and oats or potatoes, because these ingredients are also important for our feline friends. If your cat is overweight, VCA hospitals recommend feeding them weight management food, which is scientifically made to help with safe weight reduction in cats. Some options they recommend are Hill's Prescription Diet Metabolic, Royal Canin Satiety Support Weight Management, and Purina Overweight Management. 
But these are only a handful of many great options. If you are interested in any of these cat foods, we'll have links in the description box below. Just keep in mind that you should never reduce the recommended food portions or have your cat skip meals because that would just lead to malnourishment. Also, while the type of food is part of the equation, portion control is also key when it comes to managing your cat's weight. When it comes to portion control, experts also recommend that cat parents avoid feeding table scraps and regulate the number of treats given. No matter what brand of food your cat eats, it's important to feed them the appropriate portions for their weight and age. Recommendations range between 24 to 35 calories a day per pound to keep cats at a normal healthy weight. But as we mentioned earlier, cats have different needs, which is why it's important to run your cat's diet by your bed. A great way to manage portion control is to get an automatic pet feeder. Now it's time to take a quick break to tell you about this video's sponsor, WoPet. One WoPet product that we find helpful to preventing overheating is their automatic pet feeder. While they have a few different models, the one that we have is the WoPet Boost Automatic Cat and Dog Feeder. Our favorite thing about this feeder is that it allows for flexible meal schedules. Personally, there have been countless times that Maggie has demanded breakfast before our alarm clock goes off. I don't know about you, but I like to sleep in, and with Wopet, my wife and I now schedule the feeder to release food at the time Maggie likes her breakfast, and we don't have to get up before our alarm anymore. The timer is also helpful for days when we get home late. Now we don't have to worry about rushing home because Wopet has us covered. The feeder supports up to four meals per day with up to nine portions per meal, which is perfect if you have multiple cats. You can even record your voice calling your pet to come and eat. Also, we live in an area that gets a lot of power outages, but with the feeder, we don't have to worry because it has a backup battery just in case the power goes out. Right now, Wopet is offering 10% off this feeder on Amazon for a limited time. When you add the product to your cart, all you have to do is click on the save an extra 10% when you apply this coupon option right here. The best part is that all Wopet products have a 12 month warranty and 30 day money back guarantee. So consider getting your cat this awesome automatic feeder, and thank you again to Wopet for sponsoring the Purring Journal. Now back to the video. Aside from diet, it's also crucial to provide opportunities for your cat to exercise. The easiest and most effective way to do this is to provide interactive toys for your cat to play with. Fishing poles and laser pointers are a couple of many fun toys that will get your cat moving. You can also add in food puzzles, which make cats work for their treats. Since cats are most active at dusk and dawn, PetMD recommends playing with your cat around these times or around mealtime. While the best amount of playtime varies depending on cat's age and ability, it's generally recommended to aim for at least 20 minutes a day. Also, consider weighing your cat regularly. Pounds can creep up slowly, so monitoring your cat's weight can allow you to nip a weight problem from the start. Finally, remember to schedule an annual checkup with your veterinarian. During this checkup, the vet will assess your cat's weight and recommend an appropriate diet and exercise plan to maintain or reduce weight. Now you may be wondering, why are so many cats overweight? Well, according to Vet Innovations, there are multiple factors, one being lack of awareness. With obesity being so common in both humans and pets, many people don't realize their cat is overweight. With that said, cat owners can't fix a problem if they don't know there's a problem in the first place. Even if an owner knows their cat is too chunky, they may not realize just how many extra pounds their cat carries. According to Purina, a single excess pound on a domestic short hair cat is equal to 14 to 15 pounds on a 5 foot 4 woman. Another reason is lack of compliance. If someone is given a diet plan for their cat, it's often difficult for them to comply with portion control or weight management programs, especially if they have multiple cats. Then there's poor feeding habits. Now, as we mentioned earlier, it's pretty common for cat parents to overfeed and not exercise their cats. It's also common for cats to be given high calorie foods, treats, and table scraps. Some owners also feed their cats for emotional reasons, like showing love through extra feeding or by using treats as frequent rewards. Finally, there are also reasons that are not in the owner's control, such as genetic components and susceptibilities within certain breeds. However, even with genetic reasons, we can still prevent cat obesity with quality lifestyle changes and healthy habits. Well, that's it for today, cat lovers. We hope you enjoyed today's video and learned some valuable information to help Mr. Whiskers lose that extra fluff. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on one of our cat videos. Also, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up to help other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next Catterday.